Hi guys, this is Thompson from APT Bike Point. Today's topic is motorcycle gearbox. So before we get into the complicated stuff, this we look at the basic names of the components. So this is the clutch side uh, gears and this is the sprocket side gear set. So this is called the driving gears and these are called the driven gears. And these little things are called the gear fork. Uh, their work I'll be explaining in a short time. And this is called a shifter drum or gear cam. Uh, it has many names, but commonly it is called shifter drum. And these are the uh, shifter fork pins, retainer pins. So a motorcycle gearbox is a constant mesh gearbox, meaning all the gears are in contact with each other all the time. Suppose you are in first gear, your fourth gear and fifth gear will also be in contact with each other. So only thing is that the drive doesn't get transmitted. So this is how it actually achieves that. If you can see in this. This gear spins freely, it's not connected to the shaft. Likewise, this is also free and this is also free. And this gear, the one in between, is always connected to the shaft and is on some railing so that it can move back and forth. And this thing here is called a gear dog. It doesn't have any gears on it, but its work is to connect whichever gear we have selected to the shaft. For example, if you can see here, this is free. It's not spinning the shaft. But when you select that specific gear, you rotate this drum. And the forks are connected to the drum. And so when you shift the gear, you move the forks up and down. So what the forks do is, the forks move the gear dog in and out. For example, if you see, this is the third gear. So third gear is free now. When you select third gear, you move the dog into the gear. So now the dog is attached to the fourth gear. So now when you spin the fourth gear, the shaft spins and provides drive. Likewise, if you select second gear, the dog mode down locks the second gear. So now the second gear is always in contact with the shaft. So put it in simpler terms, all the gears are interconnected always, hence the name constant mesh gearbox. The only thing which happens is when you select a gear the respective dogs move up and down so i'll just show this in the driven gear side also in the driven gear side also there are two dogs this is a free one and this is connected to the shaft so when you select a gear this dog goes and catches the other one so now the other one is also connected there are two different dogs in both driving and driven gear because say you are in first gear the first gear has to disconnect and the second gear has to connect so what happens is in the drum it's like a choreographer what the drum does is you can see three different paths right all these three different parts are for three different forks. So when you are shifting the drum in that millisecond, the drum disconnects whichever gear you are in and connects whichever gear you are going to put the bike into. And since motorcycles are constant mesh gearbox, you can only go progressively. 
uh, like see in car you can go first gear third gear and fifth gear but in bike you can go only from one two three four or four three two one you cannot jump gears so we have gone through the basic working principles of a motorcycle gearbox now i will show you how to diagnose a motorcycle gearbox if it's having any damage to it so if you can see here i hope the camera can focus it there are marks on the gears slight marks only in this gear yeah see it focus these marks are only called as damage some people assume that the teeth will cut off and all that teeth will never cut off from a gearbox unless it is being very badly misused normally what happens is like i showed earlier these marks form on the gear uh, the mark is not there in these gears if you can see these are clean and this one gear has horrible marks on it if you can yeah see like this what happens is those marks when they are spinning will cause a humming noise so how to de best define that noise uh, if you have ever heard batman's batmobile move it makes that weird sound and so that is the sound which a gearbox will make if it's getting shot so it is not going to be a catastrophic failure or anything but it's going to be a very bad irritation when you are driving just imagine you are doing 20 30 and the bike just starts screaming as if you are driving like a lunatic so that is going to be a discomfort other than that, the damage in the gearbox is not going to affect the vehicle performance or your mileage or anything else. It is purely going to be a noise and a discomfort for you. So now I have told you the basic working of a gearbox and how to diagnose a gearbox if any damages are there. So now we will just assemble the gearbox. So for putting back the gearbox case what we have to do is we have to hold the gearbox like this the gear assembly sorry i am just telling gearbox <coughs> and what you do is you put them together like so you can't put one at a time you have to put them together the way they sit because the gears are big and small they interlock so there is not enough room for you to move around and put them in so next the shifter drum goes in once the shifter drum is in the gear forks go in generally if you see a big gear fork it will sit in the big gear dock so using the size you can pretty much determine where which goes if you can see the distance from the pin here yeah see the hole there this one that hole is where the pin will go for the fork shifter so if you can just eyeball the distance i can tell that this longer fork is the one which goes there so now i put the gear fork inside okay so if you can see okay it's pretty dark okay see uh, now this one this fork is connected to the bottom dock there if you can see the cam 
so this is the biggest of them all so the biggest fork sits there now common sense will tell that when you have two forks on one side the longer pin is gonna sit there so the longer pin goes there what you have to do is you have to move the fork up and down so that it sits inside the grooves of the shifter drum like so it's kind of difficult to make a video and make this sit so just give me a second yeah both side pins are in yes and we have only one remaining fork which goes to the driving side so i can show you in the driving side how the fork sits in the groove the fork has this pin on it this pin this pin is going to sit on the groove like so as you can see it sits on the groove and we just put the pin inside to check if our gearbox is working correct all we have to do is move the driving gear and select all the different gears to check if it's working. So this is neutral. First, second, you'll have to spin the gears when you are shifting, otherwise it doesn't shift. This is fourth. So this is a four speed gearbox. So naturally you are going to get only four speeds. So you have to check every time after you assemble a gearbox before you fit the engine that all your gears are working fine. There is no chance that it's not going to work if you put it back in the right order. But still it's always worth checking so thanks for watching my video subscribe if you want to watch more videos i have a few more diy videos in my playlist do take your time to watch them as well thanks for watching this is thompson richards signing off